All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a, a bitmap image that may have started as an illustration and then convert that to a vector image so that you can edit that. Uh, and this is pretty typical. You may find some really nice free illustrations, uh, but they're not vector so they don't scale. So we're going to go ahead and see what we can do. We're going to go to File, go to op File, Open. All right, you can see I have a PNG file right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open that up. And then you can see right now it's got a transparent background. But all of this right here is just a single image. And you can see that here on the layers, right? So there's just this one image. What we want to do is get to a point where we can maybe edit this uh, and change the colors. And so we're going to see what happens when we do that. Now one thing I'll point out is uh, if you have a flat image like this where the colors are flat and there's no gradients, it works really well. Uh, here on the hat we can see there's a gradient, so we'll see what that does. I found that when I use flat images it does it pretty well if I have stuff with gradients. It's got to make a color band for each one so that could become very labor intensive. But let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Okay, we're going to go up to Image, Vectorize Bitmap. What it's going to do is you can see it created a vector version of the bitmap. Now you can see it didn't do a great job because it's trying to figure out uh, what to do here. Uh, you have some quality controls. Let's crank it way down. You can see um, what it looks like if you bring it down to two colors. And then you can crank it up and you can see um, what it does to try to get it um, to look right. Now uh, it's creating all these different bands, so it creates a, some weirdness in there. Let's go ahead and remove the noise and see what that does. So this um, looks like it works a little bit better, but you can see this kind of banding that happens. Uh, so it's a matter of playing around with it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work well. Uh, let's say we're happy with this, right? I mean the main thing is that we're able to edit this. We could probably clean some of this up anyway. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And now we've got an image. And this is the main point in there. Um, some images work better than the others. But now what we have is we have a full vector image. And I can come in here and select objects here. Uh, maybe I want to get rid of uh, this right here. I can get rid of her hat, right? And then, you know, probably edit the shape. And now I've got a different character. I can come in here and change the clothes color. Um, change your skin tone, eye color, and some of those things. Sometimes the vector images, the conversion works really well. Sometimes not so much, but you can play around with it. It is kind of cool that you're able to convert that bitmap to a vector image. Uh, the flatter the image is in terms of its colors, uh, in where it's just a solid color that has to be converted, the much, uh, the much easier it is to do the conversion. When you have some banding and shadows and things like that, um, it gets a little bit more challenging. Uh, hopefully that gives you some ideas and something that you can use in your own courses. When you're done making edits, you would just go to File, and then you can export that as whatever you want to export it at.